Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today I am reviewing The Trial of the Chicago 7, starring Eddie Redmayne, Alex Sharp, Sasha Baron Cohen, Jeremy Strong, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, um, and Frank Langue- Lang- Langella. Lang- Langella, and also someone else that you may not know, because I'm not going to say it because I didn't know he was in this. And it was direct- And this film was directed by Aaron Sorkin, and is about the story of seven people on trial stemming from various charges surrounding the uprising at the 1968 Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh. Sorry if I sound out of breath. I, I'm get, just getting over a head cold. All right. So let's start off with the positives. Um, the performances are all masterful. Like, they're all great. Um, Eddie Redmayne was really good. And even though, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Eddie Redmayne. I mean, he hasn't blown me away or anything, but he was actually really good in this movie. Um, um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt was also very good. Uh, Frank Langella, I can't pronounce his last name. Um, he was very good. Like, he was a disgusting human being in this movie. Like, he was, he was really good. Um, but in my opinion, the main standout is actually Shasha Baron Cohen, who was actually nominated for this movie. And I wouldn't be mad if he wins. He was excellent in this movie. Like, he was great. Like, this is probably his best performance I've seen from him. And I saw both Borat movies. Yeah, I watched the Borat movies. I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to. Um, um, I'll, I'll, I will review Borat too soon. Um, but yeah, he was. Uh, Shasha Baron Cohen was really good in this movie. <clears throat> probably his best performance ever. And once again, uh, the dialogue, the movie is very well written. The dialogue is very sharp and rapid fire. The di- it flow is very nice. It's very fast paced dialogue. Um, once again, it's uh, Aaron Sorkin. He, um, he, this is what he does best with movies like Steve Jobs, Emily's, uh, Molly's Game, not Emily's Game, and uh, The Social Network, which is what he's most famous for. This, uh, this movie is the exact same tone. In my opinion, this is probably one of the most underrated movies of last year. I think this movie is incredible. Um, Aaron Sorkin's directing direction, uh, straight, this is his second, I think his second directorial debut besides Molly's Game, which was very good. Not the best movie, but it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Um, but this movie, like, knocks Molly's Game out of the water. The direction is insane. Um, it is a very, um, intense direction. This movie is very intense. Like, some moments I was actually, like, gripping my my knuckles like it was actually pretty intense surprisingly i didn't expect this movie to get as intense as it did usually in this one riot scene near a hill it that scene was like intense and and another thing um i appreciate this movie for not being too preachy i thought this movie was going to be extremely preachy and it really wasn't uh so thank god for that thank you sorkin for not having this movie with an obvious political message being shoved down my throat like other movies have um, uh, so yeah, I respect you for being intelligent about that, Aaron Sorkin. Um, and, uh, this, uh, or this, this movie is just interesting. Like, it is a very frustrating movie, so, like, some of the things that happen in this movie will anger a lot of people like it did me, but, um, it, it's uh it's a movie worth watching. Like, this is a great movie. Um, is it the best movie of the year? No. I wouldn't say that, but it's definitely in the top 10, in my top 10 at least. There are other movies I think are better than, than this movie, but, but, you know, they're all very different. Um, I, I think this is a very great movie. Um, very good. If you haven't seen this one yet, it is on, it is, it is a Netflix movie. I didn't get a chance to see it see it when it came out because I had my subscription canceled but I just recently got it back like about a month or two ago so that's good so hopefully I will be reviewing a bunch of I'll be catching up with some Netflix movies now like I have been doing the past month um but this movie is really good all right do I have any negatives with Trial of Chicago 7 I have a few gripes um one thing is I have no idea what is historically accurate and what is not. Um I have not read anything about it. Um I have not read anything about this um movie being uh falsely accurate. Um so I have no idea. I'm just basing it off the movie. 
Um, I, I do have, like, a few flaws with it. There was, in my opinion, I don't really remember, but I, I remember there was some out-of-place humor. There might have been. I, I don't fully remember. And and uh, there's a part towards the end of the second act, second to beginning of the third, second, ending of the second act, beginning of the third act, where it slows down drastically. Like, it, like I was like, all right, movie, come on, pick up, pick up. And and at the start, you don't really know where it's going. Uh, like, you, have, you I didn't really know what it was uh, going to do, uh, like where the movie was going, because I knew nothing about this movie going in. I just knew it was a, tr- a court case movie um, about um, something that happened in Chicago in the late 60s about Vietnam or something. And I had no idea. That's my dog barking. Sorry. Jeez. Jeez, stop it, Walter. Um, so yeah, that's my only gripe. So in conclusion, The Trial of the Chicago 7 is a great film. I love this one. If it wins Best Picture, I will not be disappointed. Trying to talk over my dog. He is barking because this dude just can't stop barking. Jeez, stop it. All right. I'm going to give The Trial of Chicago 7 an A and is, a, and is an instant classic. Uh, please see this one. This is a great film. I love this one. Um... Like I said, it's not my favorite movie of the year, but it's definitely up there in the top 10. All right, so if you've seen The Trial of the Chicago 7, what did you think about it? And if you like this review, give it a like, and I will see you guys next time.